Hey YouTube, um, oh gosh, now I'm making a video and you should meet the TV, huh? Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so you are, oh snap, you are watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works and I am your Friday vlogger, Leanna. So this week's topic is budget. Healthy on a budget. What is your weekly food budget if you have one? Uh, how do you eat healthy like a weight loss surgery? Yeah, I guess is told to eat uh, on a budget. And what are your staple food items that you get that you get you buy? The what are your staple food items that I guess you buy? Uh, when you can't spend a lot of money. So, I, I'm eating my lunch, but I don't, I don't really have a budget per se. Um, it's just me and my husband and one of us gets paid every single week and I am very, very basic, I guess, when it comes to my eating. I go periods of months eating the same exact food. Uh, my breakfast consists of either a homemade protein shake, which um, I have my protein mixes, and I will throw in chocolate almond milk, usually is what I've been doing lately, a uh, vanilla protein powder, uh, chocolate almond milk, and a half of a banana. So uh, I've been doing that or I do a yogurt with protein cereal or I do cottage cheese with, uh, um, 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 with Cheerios is pretty much my breakfast choices. And I usually will take that to work with me. Uh, by lunchtime I'm usually home. Um, I'm off work about one, one thirty usually at the latest. So I will usually come home and and eat my lunch, make my lunch. Um, I will say, well, let me just answer the first question. Um, what is your weekly food budget if you have one? I don't have one. Pretty much, um, like I said, either one of us will get paid, and then I kind of just, if I need food, I make sure that I buy food. And um, like I said, very simple. I really, really secretly, I don't really worry about my husband. So um, as long as I have my food, I'm good. Um, how do you eat healthy on a budget? Okay, so I did some totals for you. Uh, my protein shake, I don't really have the totals on that. I'm not sure exactly how much my protein uh, mixes are. They are quite pricey, but let's see if I can swing you around here. Um, you can see kind of like, I guess right here, I've got like five tubs of protein powder. So uh, they, they range, uh, they're very high quality protein powder, so um, usually a good tub is around $70, $80, so um, it takes a long time for us to go through it, so I, I'm not sure about that. Bananas, um, I just saw in the ad there's like $0.39 cents a pound. I get the smallest bananas because bananas, uh, probably a full good size banana is 200 calories. So um, you get the small bananas, you only eat half of that, I actually weigh out my bananas so, actually the bananas don't really last very long, or they go bad by the time I can actually use them in my house because my husband is wonderfully allergic to bananas. Kind of irritates me. Anyways, um, and then I have uh, my yogurt and cereal is $1.18. Um, I get the yogurt uh, blends, and they are a dollar at Walmart is where I buy them. And then my protein cereal uh, I buy the Special K protein cereal. It comes out to 18 cents a serving. So um, breakfast is $1.18 when I do that. Uh, cottage cheese and cereal is 84 cents. I buy the 2% uh, Daisy cottage cheese, 
which I got on sale today for $3.99 for the tub. Let me show you. Um, and the good thing about cottage cheese is that the dates on them are forever. Um, you get at least a good month out of cottage cheese, if not longer. So this is the cottage cheese I bought. By It's got six servings in it at $3.99 is $0.67, cents, I think. So, and then uh, I use uh, Cheerios and uh, the Dos Leche Cheerios, and these are $0.17 cents a serving. So, uh, like I said, $0.84 cents for my cottage cheese breakfast. And then usually for lunch, what I will do is I go to Costco or you can go wherever and I get like a pre-made uh, like marinated shrimp that's ready to eat. And I will usually get like a pound, maybe like a pound and a quarter-ish or so. And I will have that for lunch pretty much every single day. And I usually will pick the one that's under $10.00. And that's my whole entire lunch for the week. So it's usually around $1.80 for lunch. And then I also buy a frozen uh, fish that I like to eat as well for lunch. And that one is $1.50 uh, per serving. So that's pretty cheap. Um, you can also go ahead and get like a rotisserie chicken. Because we're all about protein, right? Uh, weight loss surgery, you know, rule. Protein, protein, protein. So... Um, you can buy a rotisserie chicken anywhere for $5.99 or $4.99 and that will usually last me a really long time and I am so stupid simple that I throw um, in like the pan on the oven I will throw rotisserie chicken, salt, uh, I don't really use salt, pepper and cheese stir that up and I call it good. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of sriracha on it, but really I'm all about two, maybe three ingredients and I'm good. So, um, very simple, very easy, um, very cheap ways of, you know, doing things. So, you know, I'm looking at one, two, three, I don't know, maybe like five dollars a day. Um, the, what gets expensive is if we go out for dinner but usually um, I buy a lot of things like in bulk so I have like uh, chicken patties, I have fish patties, I have a uh, tuna and so really the way to go about it is um, not eating out and preparing your own food and making sure you're taking your lunch with you and um, it's a lot cheaper to make a lunch than it is to buy like pre-packaged whatever you know because I know some people may do like frozen meals or something, and those can be like two fifty something, you know, uh, a frozen meal, which I mean is a lot cheaper than going out somewhere and buying something probably. But still, you know, if, if I have my shrimp or my fish or whatever that I buy, um, it's under two dollars a serving. So you know, you can't really beat that. And um, I buy my water also in bulk. So I will usually do uh, the Smart Waters, and I will buy them from Costco, which is a bulk uh, food store. And you can buy, I think, like a 12-pack for around uh, $11. So it's, you know, a dollar a bottle, if not cheaper. And uh, not too long ago, they actually had them, I think, like two fifty dollars off of that. So they were, like, dirt cheap, so I bought, like, 10 cases of them. So... Um, I have my water and I reuse the bottles. I, you know, try to use one bottle every uh, two. I may stretch to three days for one bottle so that my bottles last over and over and over again. And so my water lasts longer. I have a, a purified system in my sink and all that good stuff. So um, I use that. And, um,. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, I prepare a lot of my own food. Um, I'm very basic, very simple. I don't keep too many ingredients all involved there. Um, if I do do produce, it's usually like steamed vegetable, little like minis that I can put in the microwave. And, um, or I buy like a big bag of carrots, as um, I've been eating lately too. And so, um, you know, I'm always in a grocery store with my job, 
So I kind of look for whatever deals that I can. But, you know, like I said, I pretty much just keep it really simple and um, just minimum ingredients. And that's, you know, I guess how I feed myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope I've made some kind of, some kind of sense. But um, you can also, you know, eggs are cheap. You can boil them. I believe a couple of us have already said that. Um, you know, we really don't eat much. So, um, when I go out to dinner, I order appetizers as opposed to full meals. Um, that kind of saves on budget a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's kind of, I think, all I have uh, for you guys. Let me see. Um, you know, my staple foods are my shrimp, my cottage cheese, my yogurt, my water, and um, whatever I decide, you know, I want to have for dinner, which we went and bought fresh uh, fish that we could um, put in the oven or um, bake on the pan. So, um, yeah, that's what I got for this week. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.